This breaking news out of Europe as well, and that is spiking markets this morning. A report says that Britain and the EU have reached a Brexit deal. British Prime Minister Boris Johnson just tweeted this out a moment ago. We've got a great new deal that takes back control. Now Parliament should get Brexit done on Saturday so we can move on to other priorities like the cost of living, the NHS, violent crime, and our environment. Get Brexit done. Take back country wrote Boris Johnson this morning. Joining the conversation this morning, Fox Business' Dagan McDowell, National Securities Corporation Chief Market Strategist Art Hogan, and Fox Business' Deirdre Bolton. Great to see everybody this morning. Good morning. What a morning. Your reaction to the Brexit story. I'll just add before Art gets in here that, that Jean-Claude Juncker, the European Commission president, also has posted something on Twitter this morning saying, where there is a will, there is a deal, and we have one. It's a fair and balanced agreement for the EU and the UK, and it is a testament to our commitment to find solutions. So that is very magnanimous. Yeah, we heard it from both sides now. Right. It looks like Brexit is happening. Yeah, that's a really good news. So actually getting confirmation on both sides is, is something that we definitely needed to hear this morning. But it's also getting one of the, the biggest market impediments behind us. Uh, in large part, when we think about how slow the global economy has been, Brexit's been part of that. and It's been part of it for three years. We kind of take it for granted that at some point in time it's going to get taken care of. This is coming as a bit of a surprise how quickly this is getting accomplished. One thing, the EU, the 27 leaders in the European Union and the British Prime Minister Johnson must approve this text at a summit over the next two days in Brussels. Then it goes to Britain's parliament, which has rejected three times a previous deal negotiated uh, by Mr. Johnson's predecessor, hmm. Theresa May. So, again, there are a number of hurdles, but this is certainly good news. Yeah. And you see it in the market. This has got to be good for the banks, especially because the banks have headquarters there. They have been sitting on cash waiting to see what would happen here amid this uncertainty. Yeah, and the, the pound is jumping as well. We should yep. point out about up 1% against the U.S. dollar. Uh, it's also good for the tech community. There's so many tech companies, even American tech companies, that have headquarters in Ireland or at least significant businesses in Ireland. This was actually really that Irish backstop deal. This is apparently the point of compromise, and this was really one of the bigger sticking points. So it seems like both sides have come to some sort of agreement as to how to handle Northern Ireland being part of the U.K. and Southern Ireland being its own country and aligned with the EU. We don't the have EU. news on a deal just yet in terms of a trade deal with the U.K. in the EU, in the EU but I assume that comes soon to yeah. hear some details there. That was what was the sticking point. Right. Right. And the, and the Irish backstop is obviously the, 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 the hardest of the hurdles to get through. There's a reason that London is one of the financial centers of the world, too. When you think about it, their, their time zone sits between Asia and the United States. They, they're extremely important in the fin technology incubator of the world. So a lot of important things that have been dragged down and, and, and this has been a very long drawn out process. So I think any good news on this front is going to help markets. Yeah, and I think they had that EU summit. They were trying to get this done before that and then it was the October 31st, you know, sort of appropriately like Halloween day was really, that was the day that it all fell apart no matter what. So I guess both sides have realized, okay, we'll do something. The clock is ticking. We'll sort it out. Well, it's true. I mean, people were thinking, how is this possibly going to happen in the next two weeks? And yet here they have this deal. All right. Fingers crossed. Right. All right. Markets are rallying on this news. There is 